Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. So today we are going to be going into some more animal reactions. Today is a little bit of a theme of watching our animals get crafted by a chiropractor. So that'll be fun just to see their reactions. Um, I do have a Patreon. So I actually started a new Patreon and I know I keep trying different things. So I'm just trying to see what works best. And let me know in the comments below. So it's called the Italian Discussion. But it's just going to be like funny travel stories that are linked to my travel story podcast or or animal YouTube channel. And we're going to talk about um, like animal rescue stories or funny animal stories, like having a pet. What it, What's funny, you know, stuff like that. And I think that'll be a lot of fun to enjoy those two things. Um, so there's two podcasts that are out. Um, and then this will be out as well for you guys Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. in the evening. So please let me know what you guys think so far. What has been your favorite? Summertime is coming up. Uh, that is a crazy, that's crazy to me that like it, it's just like, you know, it's just already here. It's not like it, it was just Christmas yesterday, even though, you know, it could be Christmas every day if we wanted it to be. I love Christmas. Anyways, that is it for me. Sorry to just keep talking. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go with number one. Yours of pain. Um, I'm going to just hold it up to my ear. I know this cat was like screaming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's meowing alright. Oh. <laughs> this one's getting cracked. I love the way that he holds it, but it's like, it, like the chiropractor has to. I'll be honest, I never heard of an animal or, or someone who can um, crack animals. Um, backs and stuff. Oh boy. The next. I never heard of that until about two or three years ago, I believe. When, um, my boyfriend went to Cairo or something about it. And, um, yeah, I've been curious ever since. So we're watching it now and I'm going to have the volume up on this one. Oh, oh nice crack. Oh, he just like don't goes right into him like oh, what a sweetie pie. The first cat though was like, what are you doing to me? Get off of me. Um, but really cute. Really, I wonder if it really does help help them. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear chiropractic opinion and just a disclaimer i don't own any of the rights to these videos these are people's channels and as you can see that guy's name dr ramix i do apologize if it's uh pronounced wrong um just so you know you can go check out his page that is his profile page to go search up on tiktok so that is um that so yeah you can go check him out and yeah that is it for that one let's move on Okay, at the beginning of that other video, I didn't realize you could kind of hear the pop in the cat as well at the end. So just pay, pay close attention to that. Okay, next dot is one getting adjusted. It's like, what'd you do? Okay. Oh, he, that second one was definitely growling. He was growling really bad. Um, I didn't want to post these ones just because there was a few that I saw, but they were wearing muzzles and they were, ha they, they were being stressed. So I didn't really want to post those on here. These were the two, a few that like seemed pretty calm that it that they were being adjusted and stuff like that. So I just wanted to share a couple of those. Maybe I'll do a whole see a whole uh, video on that. I thought that'd be cool. Um, but I wanted to get I want to get enough where it's not like these dogs are freaking out and they're stressed. Um, I don't want to put that on here. So anyways, on to number three. But I also wonder if they realize if it helps them, that, that they're just there to help their bodies feel better. Or if they're like, what, what are you doing? I don't know if I like this kind of thing. But that first dog had a really nice neck crack. Okay, on to the next one. Those cracks he did on those dogs were tremendous. Ooh, that made a crack. <coughs> you okay? Think about that for a minute. Like, you want to go shake that out? Oh, he had to get up to shake it off. Oh, shake it and now we're adjusting the other side. Mm. 
Wow, I heard that one too. And here's one on the right. Okay. Got it. Just a little crack. I guess you can go get that. with me, baby. Oh. I've come to realize, and this might just have been ignorant of me, but when dogs pant, they might be happy, but they also might be stressed out, especially in those situations, like being at the vet, going to a chiropractor, going to see, like, a, a doctor, you know? I feel like they have, like, this sense of feeling that this isn't fun. You know, this isn't going to be fun for me. We're not going to the playground. We're not having snacks. We're not going to get ice cream. We're getting adjusted by a chiropractor, by a doctor, you know, or we're going to the vet to get blood work. It's not fun for me. A lot of these dogs probably have some sort of sense of that, of being there, you know, of being in a not fun environment for, for them. Anyways, that is that one. What do you guys think about a dog getting adjusted? Like, just, I'm just curious, have you guys tried it? Has, do you believe it has helped the animal? I'd love to hear your comments below, and I believe this is the last video of adjustments. Okay, on to the next one. They, no, oh, that's expensive. Oh, oh. And you don't want to get in, that, in the elephant's way. Oh, no. Oh, that's stressful. You have to pay so much for that. Is that just a tripod or is that another camera? Because if there's another camera, it doesn't look like he broke it, but if there's another camera um, on it, then you are so out for that. Um, but yeah, you can go check out. Oh, it just says tripod. Okay. But yeah, you can go check it out. See if he does like, uh, looks like he's a photographer or videographer of some sort. So if you want to go check that out, go right ahead. His, um, um, his title or profile name will be right in the video. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, here we go. I would never believe it if it wasn't captured. Well, this one's good. Intercepts passing cars, but she doesn't. I've seen this one before. Her eyes are full of despair and helplessness. The young man is puzzled and something magical happens when he drives forward. The moose follows. When he stops, she stops too. That's when the man realizes the moose mom is seeking help. He follows her closely. She even starts to run anxiously. Ten minutes later, she stops by a small river in the back hills. Turns out, car baby is trapped here. Oh, he needs for help. Oh, that's sweet. That's so sweet. That um, funny how animal interaction with humans can be so helpful at times. Sorry, I'm just watching this. Oh. That's so cute. I hope they, re they reunite because they don't show that there, but I'm sure they did. And of course, you don't want to get too close to a moose, especially probably with their babies. Um, thankfully, she was, you were there to save her Save for a little one. On to the next one. Okay, here's to the next one. You're giving your bath a lab. Oh, giving your lab a bath. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, get me out of here as fast as possible, but I'm gonna give you some splashies. <laughs> so, yeah, um, what do I do? What do I do? What is this? He's not listening to the word sit. You're get He's so happy. He's so happy. That is so cute. Are you okay? No. But he, at the same time, he might be stressed out. Oh, no. <laughs> Just catching a chemical um, spray. Like an empty bottle one. Oh, look how wet that room, bathroom is because of your dog. Oh, what a mess. Oh, and he's shaking off. Oh, and taking you out of there. Probably putting you somewhere where you don't get everywhere else wet. That is crazy to me that these dogs... <laughs> Funny how they don't like baths, eh? It's like children, they don't like baths. Well, maybe some children do, but some don't. Um, 
yeah, giving your love a bath is pro or any dog a bath is super hard because they're unless they're water dogs, they're not gonna like it. Uh, let me know. I would love to hear your giving your dog a bath story. Please comment below. Uh, email me, whatever it is. I know all my links will be in the description below. Sorry, my eyes started burning there for a moment. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this one. And on to the last two, I believe. Okay, I made a little mistake. We're on the last one. Sorry. Just a floof. What's between those ears? Is it a brain? Nope. It just floof. No brain. Yep. <laughs> I love that little short one for you guys at the end there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. This one will be out tonight. Don't forget to go like those and listen to those podcasts that I have out for you. Um, and one day, I would love to start this community and connect over comments through the comment section or whatever that is. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.